I'm Linus. I'm Dana. We are with Hitching Up and Moving On. Hey guys, Linus was hitching up, moving on. We had an electrical problem in this camper. Oh my God, I've never seen such a poor workmanship in my whole life. This is terrible. Started off with just no power to the TV. I'm gonna walk over here, get a flashlight. Back in here, I checked all the wiring. Back in here, there was nothing wrong there. I like go out. It came down here, and then this mess down here, two out of three wires were cut. There's actually another one cut down there still. I haven't got two yet. Oh, that was right. It's right in there. The black wire's cut. So then, I, uh, sorry. Oh. I had to pull the fireplace, okay, as you see, TV, all this bracketry here, here, they just put an island in this thing, so I thought that was where the problem was going to be, but that wasn't it. Came over here, underneath your stove. If you ever want to know, there's wiring underneath here too. Checked all these down here, and I didn't find a problem here, even though I'm pretty sure there's a wire cut there too. Okay, got. Uh, so then, I'll show you what else I had to do first. Left side. Outside, to get to the back of them wires right there. I pull all this loose. I pull the stove out. See the gas lines hanging? I had to pull them. I checked this, this all the way up through here. It goes underneath your underbelly. I had to pull the underbelly loose right there. Came down here. There's a cubby hole right here. I pull it loose and all those three wires run over here and one goes two flows forward and one goes back in there. Now you probably can't sell it real good because I don't have any light in there, but it goes back in there. Pulled all that loose. As you can tell I'm out of breath, I've been going at this all morning long. Well, since yesterday actually. So yesterday, I pulled this whole panel here loose and checked all the wiring in here to make sure there was nothing wrong. While I did it, I added a extra storage to my basement. Got that done. So, I'm sitting around thinking, I'm looking at these wires right there. Two go forward, one goes back. So, I'll come back up here, and here's your circuit breaker box. I pulled all that loose to see if I had anything wrong there. Nothing wrong there. There's the panel for it. Came up here. You have, they put a new sink in here. So I thought maybe the wiring going to this plug right here was messed up, feeding it all the way back there. So I put, I pulled all that loose. Look at that. There's a GFI, in case you ever want to know, right there. It's good. much as I checked it. I checked to make sure all my, um, um, oh, trying to think, my inverter, everything was good on it. Checked the power to that. Came down here and checked this GFI right here inside your sink. Nothing wrong there. That's where they had the whole sink tour part. 
so then I got to thinking, I remember seeing some wires back here from my previous video when I fixed all this foam right here. And there's the same thing over there, they had a hole in it. So what I did is I hooked the drill up like this and I turned it on where it can run on its own. And, and right now it's turned on over there. So there's no power over there, right? Right there, that drill's sitting with no power in it whatsoever. So listen, when I move these wires over here. So in here, this one has to have a cut wire in there somewhere. Another cut wire. Now, I think I've seen four cut wires in this camper so far. Scares the hell out of me now. Because now how much more has been cut because they just did quick, quick workmanship. Didn't take their time doing nothing right. I don't even know if I have enough wire to fix this right here. So that's my next issue. Also had to pull the couch out to get to that. So here's your couch. So I've got my whole camper tore apart. I'm supposed to leave in five days. So this really makes me, and we haven't even loaded it yet because we unloaded it and sent it to Apache Village for three and a half months to get this. Not this problem problem. This isn't their problem. They did a really good job on everything they did. This was something, this is something that the dealership did and should know freaking better. They really, <laughs> this camper should just be go, go back the way I look at it. So anyhow, lines was hitching up and moving on. Hope you guys got something out of this video I had to make. And I don't know. Thanks a lot, guys.